Hello, my name is Raj Puri. I'm the convener of the Ethnobotany MSc here at Kent. Thank you for coming to our virtual open day. In this very brief introduction to our program, I'm going to highlight uh, the course, tell you something about our students and the kinds of research they've been doing, and where they end up after this degree. Our program takes a biocultural approach to ethnobotany. That is, we're interested in the relationship between the biology of plants and the culture of humans that think about them and use them. This means that we cover a great diversity of subjects in order to capture this uh, important integrated co conception of people plants. Now, as you probably know from looking at our website, this is an intensive one-year master's program, although it can be done part-time. And in that one year, we have a coursework portion that is seven months, uh, where you take modules uh, and learn about the contemporary issues facing ethnobotanists, and also get training uh, in the various methods that are used by ethnobotanists. And this training will prepare you to develop uh, and conduct a major research project which occurs in the second half of the program, the dissertation phase. Um, and that usually goes from April through to September. Now during the coursework part of the degree, you'll be attending modules, uh, going to research seminars, doing various kinds of coursework or assignments such as writing essays, doing book reviews, uh, making presentations, doing mini research projects, and the skills that you learn uh, in completing all of this coursework um, will prepare you not only for this dissertation research project, but future research um, that you might uh, carry out as part of a doctoral program or uh, as a researcher. Now the dissertation project which is the culmination of the degree, takes place over a five-month period. But as I said, you'll be preparing for it throughout the coursework. Now our students travel all over the world to conduct research, and one of the things that we can offer you is an incredible network of our friends and colleagues and alumni around the world uh, that could potentially host you or collaborate with you in your projects. Our students work around the world in various locations, in rural communities and urban communities, in traditional indigenous sites as well as modern urban uh, environments. But it's also the case that students work in libraries or in labs or in archives to collect data to answer interesting questions about people and plants. Some of our recent students uh, have conducted research, for instance, on the effects of invasive species on people's livelihoods in India. Uh, we've had students conduct research on the introduction of fruit trees into communities in the high Atlas Mountains of Marrakesh and how that affects their traditional plant use. Another great place to do ethnobotany is in gardens, whether they're botanical gardens or home gardens. And we've had many projects looking at the great diversity that we can find in gardens uh, and their potential for plant conservation, but also the way gardens are used, the meanings they give to people, whether they're grown for flowers or for food. And we've had students doing research on gardens amongst migrant communities uh, in London and elsewhere, because when people move, they often take their plants with them. And part of adapting to new places is often establishing gardens where they can grow those plants and grow those foods and medicines that they are used to using. Another area of important research is on sacred or spiritual use of plants. And this may involve sacred trees, sacred forests, or the uses of plants in ritual and in healing. Another important topic in ethnobotany that our students are interested in is climate change, as you could imagine. Uh, as climates are heating up, as water is becoming scarce in other areas, as biodiversity is shifting as a result of the climate change, people's use of plant resources uh, and the cultural uh, aspects of plant use 
are also being affected. It's very exciting to see what our students do after they finish their degrees. Many will go on to do PhDs in a variety of different subjects, not just ethnobotany. Uh, and many others will go to work in botanical gardens, for environmental NGOs, for development NGOs. Still others will start their own businesses, perhaps teaching ethnobotany, running workshops, uh, or even manufacturing plant-based products such as cosmetics and food supplements. Our program attracts brilliant people because having run for more than 20 years, the program now makes a major contribution to the field of ethnobotany, which our students want to be a part of.